So many people considering a plant-based diet are concerned about their protein and omega-3 intake. For this reason, foods such as chicken and fish are still seen as health foods by many people. How can someone get their essential fatty acids from a strictly plant-based diet? Yeah, yeah. I, well, first of all, with regard to protein, that question will never die, but, um, but it should have died a long time ago. Um, and to just break it down, your body does need protein, and protein is built from individual amino acid molecules, uh, but plants have them. Um, they have the essential amino acids that your body does need, and, and a woman needs about 46 grams of protein a day, and a man about 56, that's an average. A little bit more if they're bigger or more active. Um, if you ate a 2,000 calorie diet, which is pretty average, and if you ate 2,000 calories of nothing but broccoli, not that you would ever do this, but, but let's say you did that. You wouldn't think there'd be any protein in that. Well, it turns out that 2,000 calories worth of broccoli has 146 grams of pure protein. If you had 2,000 calories of lentils, it's 157 grams of pure protein. Now, hopefully, you're having some broccoli and some lentils and some rice and you know a, a variety of foods, but you're gonna get more than enough protein of all the essential amino acids. Now, with regard to omega-3s, um, your body does get the omega-3s. These are essential fats from green leafy vegetables. There are traces of it in beans. There are some in, um, in nuts and in seeds. And your body then lengthens them to the 20 carbon and 22 carbon uh, omega-3s that your brain needs. Um, it's, I think it's important not only to make sure you have a good, healthy plant-based diet, but avoid lots of extra grease in your diet. If, if you're dipping French fries, you know, in in pulling them out of the grease and eating them. You have too much of the unhealthy fats that are crowding the healthy fats out. That's not a good way to go.